So, what is drop B ukulele tuning? Well, if you've already worked with alternate tunings, you may have some idea from the name itself. You're going to take the third string, which is normally tuned to a C, and tune it down to a B. If you need some more detailed instructions, I'll be giving those at the end of the video, as well as some hints on how to use the tuning. But first I'm going to play two pieces that use drop B. Probably the neatest thing about this tuning is that you have an open E minor chord on strings 2, 3, and 4, and all you have to do to fill it out is just play a one finger chord at the second fret on the first string. There's an E minor, or a little higher pitched one, you can play a one finger chord uh, at the seventh fret. And there's two beautiful E minor chords just with one finger, which means you can play a melody. with that E minor chord very easily. Like that, which is really an easy trick and makes pieces in E minor very, very easy to play in this tune.
The next good thing about this tuning, if you're playing in the key of E minor, is that you now have a low B. And if the melody starts B and then E, which a whole lot of tunes do, uh, in standard tuning you'd have to go and then by the time you finish playing the tune you probably have been using frets way way up here which are real hard to use but since we now have a low B we've extended the range of the ukulele down by a half step you can play those two notes and that makes a whole lot of melodies a lot easier to arrange in the key of E minor Probably the first thing people like to do in a new tuning is to just kind of strum around in it. So here's some of the chord shapes you'll use a lot. Uh, in E minor, I've already done the one finger E minor chord. You'll probably use a B chord quite often, which is a bar chord, but most of the time you could use a B7 just as easily if that's a very easy chord in this tuning. That's it. Uh, if you want to play an A chord, and here's an A minor. So th those are some of the chord shapes you'll need in the key of E minor. Drop B tuning works well in the key of G as well as the key of E minor. So here's the three chords you'd need most often for playing in the key of G. You need your G chord, need a D chord, and the G chord's just as easy in this tuning. The D chord's actually, I think, a little easier than it is in standard tuning. But the C chord, the third one you'll need, is a tiny bit harder. Not a real hard chord, but you'll need two fingers instead of one finger for that. So. Uh, so if you're strumming along in G, you need your G chord, D, C, go back to D, and then one last G chord. Drop B tuning also works pretty well if you have to strum in the key of E, which is usually a pain in the neck ukulele key. Uh, the, base, the E chord in standard tuning is quite a stretch, but an E chord in this tuning is just two fingers. Got to be a little careful not to hit the fourth string open if you're playing in this key, unless you want to play blues. Uh, but B7 chords, quite easy. B chord needs a bar, but it's no worse than it is in standard tuning. And the other chords you'd use pretty often in A is also a nice easy chord. Just two fingers and it's real easy to hit. So this is a good tuning for strumming or playing in the key of E as well as E minor and G. All right, I'm going to go through how to tune your ukulele to drop B tuning. You could use your phone tuner to get the ukulele to standard tuning, which might be a good place to start. But with a clip-on tuner, uh, you can get into drop B, which the phone tuner probably won't do. If you want to check one last time with the clip-on that you're actually in standard tuning, the fourth string should play a G. The third string should play a, should play a C. The second string should play an E, and the first string should play an A. And what you're going to do is to take the third string, which is normally tuned to a C, 
and you're going to loosen it until it plays a B instead. So get it to show B on the tuner, and then center it. And now the strings should play G, B, E, A. The tuners on smartphones are great for ukulele, but they don't deal very well with alternate tunings like drop B. So if you don't have a regular tuner uh, that has a chromatic setting, or you left that at home, uh, here's a way to tune the ukulele into drop B by ear. And what you're going to do uh, is to reference the second string to the third string. In standard tuning, the second string and the third string match when you're at the fourth fret on the third string. So you play the fourth fret on the third string and the second string open, and you just get the same pitch if you're perfectly in tune. To get into drop B, what you want to do is to go to the 5th fret on the 3rd string, and then at first that doesn't match. What you want to do is to loosen the 3rd string until that does match. You may want to go a little bit under the pitch on the 3rd string, just a hair. done, you should have a nice one finger E minor chord that sounds pretty good. And that string you've retuned, it does have a tendency to move a little from its pitch, so you may want to retune it, check it after a second or two. But now you're in drop B. Uh, to get back to regular C tuning, if you don't have a tuner, just go to the fourth fret again and tighten the third string. the second string again and you have a nice C chord uh, in standard tuning and you may want to check that a couple of times too. It has a slight tendency to slip there too. So that's how you move from standard tuning to drop B and back again if you don't have a tuner with you. Hi, this is Bill Hearn again. If you liked the ukulele pieces you heard on this video, there's about a hundred more in my uke book published by Mel Bay, plus more pieces available separately on Sheet Music Plus, a collection I'm adding to all the time. Also, check out my other uke videos on YouTube and my novel Maria's Child, available through Amazon Books. Thanks for listening.